Today we're processing some text files with PowerShell. There we go. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and I have many different clients now and then, and I need to do some different functions, get some data in and out, uh, change some data around. And um, uh, one of the companies I kind of work for is uh, retail. They have, you know, products on shelves in different locations and there's a company called rgis that comes in and does your inventory for you quickly gives you a file that you can upload and upload all you know update your item counts so that you know how far you're off on different inventories so one of those files uh looks like let me edit open this here bring this over here we go and here's one of those files. One of these files, it just has basically a, a location in the store and an item number and the quantity uh, of the item in the store. Well, this location number is not the location that we want. The location is in this, this file here, which has the RGIS location number and then the location number they want to refer to it in the store. So I need to use take the inventory file and basically match this location and replace it with the location in this kind of cross lookup file. So I'm going to do that with PowerShell, of course, because that's that's the tool that I use a lot most often. And and there we go. So here we go. I'm going to bring this down a little bit because we can get the top part of the the application in the view. So let's go here. Okay. So now we have several different locations that we're going to be dealing with. So we're going to make a big outer array and loop for each location. So that just we just create an array with the location numbers. Uh, so all the files have that location number in the file name. So it makes it pretty easy to do. So you create an array here uh, of the location, 1,000, 2,000, no, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, boom. And then all the files are going to be matching with that location in the middle of it. So we're going to loop through that. So for every location in the location array, we're going to do this process. So we're going to get our input file and then we're going to have a lookup file each store has its own lookup file because items are different places in different stores and then we're going to have an output file where we replace the items that are matched in this output file to then merge it later on into our point of sale system okay so here we do just get in inventory data we're going to import import the csv file with our input file and we're going to, the headers of that file are location, item, and quantity. So that's what's in there, location, item, and quantity. And then here we're going to do a lookup, import CSV, look up the header, RGIS, and uh, close is the name of the company. So now we're going to create a temporary array. That's just a, an array list, just a system array list. This one we hit a match because not all of the items uh, have a location in them and we don't want to try and be updating uh, items in the inventory for, for items that aren't there. So if it already has a location, we don't want to wipe that out. All that. So we're only going to be putting the items that have a location and everything matches into our update file that we're going to process later. Okay, so now we're going to cycle through all of the data. So from zero to the inventory data count, we're going to go through all of it. Um, and then I have some, this is just, this ticker thing is just some little uh, kind of, is it working dots? Are we working? Yes, no, okay. And then rotating lines. So, but here's where we get to the meat of it. So we're gonna go the lookup table and we're gonna select the lookup table where object is filtering on our inventory data and location. So we're gonna go into the lookup table we're going to find the object name that is the location. So, and then we're going to put that object, that file, we're going to actually 
bracketed here and we're, this is the value that we want here, this close value, and that's the new location. So that whole string here just gets us the our new location based on the RGIS location. Okay, now, if that name, they're all greater than two, they're all like six to eight characters, if it's greater than two, then I want to process it. Then I'm going to take the new location, update my data file, and then add that data file, data record to my temporary table and continue through that. So every single time I come down here, okay, we go through the first one. Is there, does it look up? Yes, it looks up something and we have a new location for this item. If that's there, then we're gonna add to our temporary table, our temporary array, say, okay, there we go, we're good. Then finally, once we get through each location, we're down, done with this location, done through all those records. Then finally, we're gonna come down here and we're going to just select the item and location. We don't need the quantity. The quantity is a different function. We're gonna ignore the quantity in this case. So we're gonna add that to final. And so that copies the array items from temp to final. This is our final export. And then we're gonna just display final and pipe that export to our out file. Our out file was what we set up up here, which is the CSV file that we're going to use to merge into our point of sale system. And then we're going to write that I'm done with that location. Let's move on to the next location. And when we get these output files, um, I call them merged. So it's done merged. I get the item number and the new location. Item number, new location. So now we have all these files, item numbers, new locations, all set, ready to go, and I can go take those and push those into the point of sale. So you can use things like this in PowerShell, how it can read data, manipulate data, write data back out to do some of these things for you know, your point of sale systems, ERP systems, any kind of things that you wanna be able to just you know, move data around and, and update it using lookup tables like I'm doing here, or you know, something else, a simpler table, an array, uh, different things like that. So it's pretty quick and easy, but this saves, you know, hours of trying to, okay, that's what part, you know, there's there's 11,000 lines in this output from RGIS. I'm not going to go through all 11,000 lines and try and update that. I'm going to use code to do it, and that's going to save me a lot of time and then also be more accurate, right? Now, now instead of you know, me maybe mistyping something or whatever. Now we're doing it in, in code and we're not having to deal with typos or have, you know, some people, you know, the cashiers when they're not working, go update the codes and stuff, which can cause problems. Okay. Well, there you go. That's how you can kind of update, manipulate your data using PowerShell. It's pretty easy. Just bringing data in, you know, using that import CSV function and then writing it out in export CSV, just really quick way to do the pull things in and out of data and manipulate data and get it to be how you want it. If you got some data that's just got a little couple of bits that are off and you don't want to read through the whole file and try and fix it yourself, but you can select it somehow in code, boom, there you go. Write a quick PowerShell loop and I'll post this uh, code uh, up on my Bitbucket and you can use that and, and manipulate however you want to deal with your data situation. All right. Well, thanks for watching and take care. Thank you.